Okay, hello guys, uh, welcome to the channel. If you are new to the channel, consider liking and subscribing. Also, if you have any questions and comments, you can write them down to me. Okay, thank you. Okay, hello guys, now I'm gonna show you my new BMW. As you can see, this is my new BMW. The model of this car is 330 diesel. As you can see, this is a coupe. It is a very nice car. Okay, this car was produced from September 2006 till September and 2008. Uh, but I don't see many differences uh, on this model up to 200 and 2000 and uh, 2013 year. Okay, it has an engine of 3.0 liters and it's a diesel engine with six cylinders. Uh, what is the CO2 emission of this car? This car isn't uh, uh, isn't isn't a new car. It has Euro 4 standard and produces uh, 170 grams of CO2 per kilometer. So this is a pretty uh, large CO2. This car produces 231 horsepower on 4000 rounds per minute. And also it has a torque of uh, 500 Newton meters at uh, 1750 rounds per minute. So this is a pretty strong car. It has a manual gearbox and also it has uh, six-speed uh, manual transmission. Uh, the top speed of this car is 250 km per hour. Uh, the acceleration of this car from 0 to 100 km per hour is in 6.6 .6 seconds. What is the fuel consumption of this car? This car is uh, very efficient when, when we talk about fuel consumption. Uh, it uh, uses just 6.1 liters of diesel fuel uh, in combined mode, but if you are on a highway, uh, it's, uh, it uses uh, 4.9 liters of diesel fuel. And uh, in, uh, in a town or in a city, the urban consumption of fuel is 8.9 liters. Uh, let me show you this car around. As we can see, it's a very nice car. It's in mint condition. Doesn't have any scratches. Interior is also very good, very nice. From front, this is from front. As you can see, it has a very nice uh, front silhouette. Uh, it's a very sportish look, very aggressive. This car has a very nice uh, bumper, headlights. These are the headlights. Headlights are Xenon and they are very nice. Under the headlights uh, we have situated fog lights. They are also nice. Up front we have big grills and very nice uh, front bumper, which is not flat. It's uh, Nicely, text nicely formed. The hood is also very nice. It has a modern design. At front, we have a classical BMW logo. Okay, let me go to the side. On the side, we see it has very nice bumpers. Bumpers are continuing in, into front mask and uh, it looks uh, like there is no disruption in continuity. From side headlights are also very nice. Here we have a custom 17 inch alloy wheels with, uh, with nice MS tires. 20 uh, 225, 45 and R17 but also you can 
replace them with 18 inch or 19 inch alloy wheels. Here on the bumper we have side blinkers. Blinker. Okay, let me show you now the doors. The doors are very nice, they are big. Doors are nicely curved. Let me open it. As soon as you open the door, the window litter is lower down. Inside we have nice beige leather. Nice, we have nice big door panel, which is little damaged. But uh, this is normal for this age of the car. Okay, let me show you interior. We have also nice beige seats, front seats. Passenger seat. The back of this car is well, well preserved. I don't see any damage on the back. Okay, let me close it down for, for a while. Okay, let me go to the back. As you can see this is a coupe you can tell me in the questions area which one do you like more the two-door or four-door limousine I prefer a two-door car okay let me now go to the back this is very nice rear of the car as soon as you come to the back you can see it it has very nice back lights. They are nicely shaped. They aren't some weird shape. In the middle we have a typical BMW logo and a plate for underneath. The bumper is also very nice. Let me go to this side. From this angle you can see how this car looks very sporty. Okay, now I'm a little further from this car. You can tell me in the comments uh, which one do you prefer? 330 diesel or, or which has two doors or a limo? And also would you guess the year of this car? Okay, now let me open these doors. As you can see, these, these doors are very nice, very big. The window automatically comes a little down. Inside we have a big door panel. It's uh, not damaged. It's very nice beige color. Now let me show you the interior from this side of the car. It's very nice. The big seats. As we can see, the dashboard doesn't have a navigation or it doesn't have a display for navigation. But that's not too important to me because this car is very well preserved. Should I tell you which uh, year of production of this car is? Okay, I'm gonna tell you. The year of production of this car is 2006. Also, I didn't show you this car has a roof window, so this is very nice. This gives uh, very much light to the interior of the car when you are driving this car. Okay, now I'm inside this car. It is uh, very comfortable. Let me show a little in the back.
it is very well clean car it's well preserved the previous owners were non-smoking and there was three owners of uh, this car the first owner was Italian so this is uh, Italian car I know people don't like buying cars uh, which came from Italy because they, they don't uh, maintain their cars very well but this car goes very well it runs and drives this was a very expensive car uh, the price of this car in 2006 was somewhere from 35,000 uh, pounds to 38,000 pounds in Great Britain but in uh, in Italy in euros it was around 50, 50 to maybe 55,000 euros so many people can't afford this car but now this car is uh, very affordable I gave for this car only 5,500 euros which is best buy for, for the price and for the value of the car I don't know why Germans didn't want to buy this car it was on mobile.de for a few months and nobody didn't want to buy it I don't know why they didn't want to buy this car maybe because uh, inside is beige leather it's also very very nice it's 99% clean or maybe they, they didn't want to buy this car because it doesn't have navigation but it's not important because when you are driving a car you you don't have time watching videos or something else you have to watch the road and be safe okay what do you think how much did i spend on this car totally as i said uh, this car the price of this car was uh, 5500 euros it's a uh, base base price but that's not the total price of this car uh, because i had to i had to brought i had to bring i had to bring this car all the way from germany from berlin so this car was imported from berlin and that cost me another 700 and 300 euros and also that's not the final price of this car and also i had to pay a border which is uh, very very high it's calculated by equipment and the uh, model of the car and uh, co2 emission which is 174 uh, grams of co2 so the what do you think how much did i pay for the border the, i paid for the border 17,500 Croatian currents that's uh, in Kunas but in euros that would be 2,350 euros approximately and also I need to homolo homolo I had to pay for homologation of this car and that is approximately 100 euros so the total price of uh, this car is uh, from uh, 8,500 euros to 9,000 euros to get it on the road. Okay, this was a quick review of my new BMW 330 diesel. Thank you for watching and peace.